hello guys so welcome back and today we are going to talk about the binary coded decimal or also called the bcd okay so in question number 47 we have to convert each of the following decimal number to the 8421 bcds okay so conventionally 8421 bcds are usually called the bcd for simplicity so wherever bcd is written it means 8421 bcds okay so prior to the conversion of any decimal number to their bcd counterparts what we have to do we have to see that in decimal we have all the numbers from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 every number in the decimal is composed of the combination of the numbers between 0 and 9 okay so any combination here will give me the decimal number okay so in order to convert these number to the binary coded decimals what we have to do we have to see the equivalent binary numbers of these 0 to 9 numbers so suppose for 0 we have a 4 bit number which is 0 0 0 0 okay 0 0 0 1 for 1 0 0 1 0 for 2 okay uh, 0 0 1 1 for 3 0 1 double 0 for 4 0 1 0 1 for 5 0 1 1 0 for 6 0 1 1 1 for 7 okay 1 0 0 0 for 8 and 1 0 0 1 for 9 okay so these are all the numbers from 0 to 9 and above it we will get all the numbers which will give me the hexadecimal or more number so these four bit numbers are basically the bcd numbers okay and this is basically the decimal equivalent okay so wherever i will have a decimal number what i have to do for each of the decimal number i have to write the equivalent code which is written here in the bcd okay so suppose in the first number we have this one zero okay so in order to write the bcd equivalent of it what we have to do first of all we have to see that here we have 0 and 1 so first i will write the equivalent of this 0 which is now here and this is four zeros okay so here i have 0 0 0 0 okay and for this one what i have to do i have to write the equivalent of it okay so which is here this four bit number is basically the bcd equivalent of this one okay so i will have so let me write it with this black one so one zero 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 okay so these four are for this zero while these four bits are for this one okay so basically we have converted our number to their bcd equivalent so this is the bcd while this is the decimal okay so that is the way of converting any decimal number to their bcd equivalent okay so let us uh, see the solution of part b here so in part b we have one three okay so what we have to do here we can see that we have one and three so writing the uh, bcd equivalent of this three what we will have this is here so double zero double one is the equivalent of this three okay so this is the equivalent of this three while for one what i have to do i have to write these four numbers which are equivalent uh writ, which are basically written in this equivalent equivalence table okay so this is zero 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 one okay? these are four number which are here okay so if we have this 13 so this 13 is in decimal while this number this 8 bit number is the bcd number okay uh, so that is for part b for part c what we have to do is a similar procedure will be used uh, let me see part d here so for part d here we have 21 okay so uh, again we have two numbers 2 and 1 writing the equivalent of 1 here so that is 0 0 0 1 okay and the equivalent of this 2 is this is here okay this is 0 0 1 0 so 0 0 1 0 so that is the equivalent of it and that is in bcd while this is in decimal 
Okay, so that is the way of converting my numbers to their BCD equivalent. Similarly, 36 will be converted. Okay, so let me do it here again. 36, this is part F. So, 36 again. Okay, so again, this is in decimal. So, the equivalent of 6 is here. This is 0, double one, zero, zero double one zero okay and the equivalent of three is here okay this is zero zero one zero so zero zero sorry this is zero zero one one so zero zero one one okay so these three are for these four bits are for this three while these four bits are for this six okay so that is the bcd equivalent so that's it for today and i will see you with some more remaining questions which we have to solve here. Uh, I think uh, most of the two digit numbers can be very easily converted by using the same table, but we will also talk about the three digit number in our upcoming video. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.